This video will demonstrate how to create the parking stall dynamic block for use in Industrial Drawing 20B. Begin by drawing your geometry in model space. All of the geometry here is on layer 0 and uh, it's been strategically placed so that it, it's going to come into the drawing exactly we, like we want it. For example, the parking stall itself is 9 feet wide so the center point of this polyline right here, this, uh, this rectangle, the, the midpoint of that line right there is exactly nine feet from zero, zero, so that my width of my parking stall is already set up. And I put this parking bumper in there. Uh, it doesn't matter where it goes as long as it's, you know, your, your front tire could come up and bump into it. So space it out appropriately. Uh, I'm not gonna be measuring that to make sure that it's exactly in the same spot as mine. Once you have your geometry placed in model space, you can go to the block editor. So you go to the insert tab and you go to the block editor and it launches the block editor dialog box. Notice that there are no other blocks in this drawing and there should not be any other blocks in this drawing. So you'll select current drawing and choose OK. At this point you get your tool authoring palette that comes up here and we want to place in a couple of parameters. The first parameter that we will place in is an alignment parameter because we want this dialog or this uh, we want this block to align with a line in the drawing that might represent the curb for example. So I'll click alignment here. It asks me for the base point of the alignment <coughs> and um, the base point of the alignment parameter must be the exact same point that is the insertion point for the drawing. So in this case it's going to be 0 comma 0. And then this line that comes up represents the line that it is going to be aligned with when we insert it into the drawing. So I'm going to zoom up and pick the midpoint of that polyline there so that this line represents the curb, and when we insert this in the drawing, it's automatically going to line up with that curb. The next thing that we want to do is place a linear parameter. Now we're going to be using the array action, but I only want this to array in one direction. So you're going to use a linear parameter instead of the xy parameter. For the linear parameter, I'll go ahead and make the origin. Uh, well, I need to add a label, so I'll say L for label. And this will be the stall width. And then I need to add a description. And the description will be array uh, several parking stalls. So then my start point will be 0, 0. And my second point will again be that midpoint there and I can just place it here. Now as before with like the stretch action we only want to array in one direction we don't want to array in both directions so I'm going to come in here and select that grip uh, the grip that points the wrong direction there and delete that grip so my only in, I only end up with this linear grip on this side this grip you want to keep because that's the alignment grip that needs to stay there after you have your a grip in place here, or your, your linear parameter in place, you can go to the Actions tab, and you can choose the Array action. It asks you to select the parameter, which is in this case this linear parameter, and then it asks you to select the objects. So I want the bumper, and I want my rectangle, which represents the painted line. When I'm done selecting objects, I can press Enter. It asks me for the distance between the columns, which, is, which should be 9 feet. So I'm going to type in 108. 108 inches is 9 feet. Press Enter, and that completes the action activity. So notice now that I have my array action here. When I hover over it, it shows me that it's going to be that width, and those things are associated with it. If I wanted to test this now, I could go to the test block draw some lines in here. OK, 
Okay, and if I pick this up, it will automatically align. Okay, so I could say go to the endpoint of that line, for example, and then array it out. 